Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Better Save on Football Manager. Today we have got the second leg of the Champions, Le uh, Champions League uh, playoff path. Uh, in the last uh, first leg we drew two each, we'll have a wee look at that in a second. Uh, we'll just go through what's been happening. <coughs> so, we drew against... Kilmarnock, which was very disappointing, we drew to basically a last minute goal. We then went to Austria and drew one each with Sturm Graz. Again, another late goal. We went to Partick Thistle where we beat them 3-1 in the second round of the Premier Sports Cup. Again, we let in another late goal. We all scored one ourselves in that one. And then it was the first leg at Ibrox against Monaco. And that finished two each. All four goals scored within 30 odd minutes. The rest of the match was kind of 50 50. Next, we went away to Hibs, playing a lot of away games so far. Uh, but we went away to Hibs and we absolutely dominated them. 5 0. Uh, Cholak got his hat trick. First hat trick of the season, first Rangers hat trick. And that basically takes us up to. Today's game against Monaco. So we'll be playing Monaco. I'm then going to skip Ross County. I'll play that offline. And then we'll play this old firm in, uh, later in the episode. Transfer wise, still not done anything. Uh, in, but out, we sold Scott Arfield. We weren't going to use him. Like, he's a decent player, but yeah, I just wasn't going to be using him. So I didn't see the point in. Keeping them. Uh, transfers in, as you can see, we've not done anything. We're still trying to get rid of Scott Wright, but nobody's wanting to take him permanently. So, we'll just jump into the first game. I also just realised that I never actually ran through the tactic or the teams before the matches. So, we'll just have a quick look at the tactics. So, we're playing a 4-3-3. Three, three. We've got a sweeper keeper on defend. We've got a wing back and attack. Obviously, Tavernier bomb up and down that wing all day. Goldson, uh, uh, sorry, we've got a centre defend, defender on defend, ball playing defender on defend, wing back on support, defensive mid on support, box to box on support, Mazala on attack, inverted winger on attack, inside forward on support, and up top is an advanced uh, advanced forward on attack. The these I will just quickly show you like <coughs> I'll just quickly show you all their instructions. So none for there. The only one we've added for James Tavernier is to sit narrower. None added there. Ease off tackles for the ball plane. Sit narrower for Gilmaz. Hold position for Ryan Jack. None for that. None for that one. None for the right wing. Stay wider for the inside forward and none for the attacking midfield. So the mentality is attacking and possession. We've got pass into space, play out defence, low crosses, run at defence, be more expressive, higher tempo and we're staying fairly wide. In transitions we're taking short kicks, counter and counter press. So the standard basically. Uh, out of possession we've got much higher defensive line, high press, and trigger press is much more often. Prevent short goalkeeper distribution and get stuck in. So we are getting quite a few bookings. So that is the tactic that I totally forgot to go through it with you. And this is the team that we're sending out against Monaco. So we've got McCrory and goals, Tavernier, Goldson, Davis, Gilmaz at the back. Jack Lundstrom and Tillman in the midfield. Kent Sakala on the wings and Cholak up top. I'm really enjoying the new UEFA graphics and my private save um and and my private save sorry I'm in the Europa League and I'm really liking that and there's just something about the Champions League that just gets a football fan warm and fuzzy inside. Sorry for no music. I don't know if it's copyrighted or anything. So I don't. I'm a small channel. I don't really want to get a copyright strike. So you'll not hear any of the music unless 
there's a guarantee that it won't be copy struck. A uh, copy striked. So sorry about that. If you were looking forward to that, if you want to listen to it, then get the game yourself. But I'm hoping that we can pull off a result here. Monaco beat uh, PSV 2-0 uh, at home. And PSV are a really good side. PSV, obviously, the team that Rangers beat in real life to get to the Champions League. So that was a dire ball from Tavernier. Like, as a guy that played defence in the defence, like, back in the day... There's one pass you do not do. You do not pass it across your box. But that was a good pa- a good cross from Fashion Sakala for Lundstrom. And Lundstrom powered that header down into the ground and brings his level. So 1-1 on the night, 3-3 in aggregate. Kind of glad we got that goal back rather sharpish. Kent with the corner, Goldson's there, but that yeah, it clipped the bar. That was unlucky. I didn't know if a keeper hurt. Uh, punch that onto the bar. Tavernier with the throw on Cholak. Tavernier crosses, no one's there. Kent, Yilmaz, Lundstrom, Jack. Jack shoots, but it's well wide. I was also. Oh, sorry, I keep hitting my mic for some reason. I was also thinking. In. My non league to uh, non league to legend save last year that I'd done for my Liverpool team. I played a four three three, so it was three centre strikers basically, and I kind of feel that like it was a bit overpowered. But I loved playing it because I love getting a lot of goals. I was actually kind of thinking about going back into that old save to see if I could try and replicate it in this game just to see how well it would go. I think it'd be quite fun to use. Uh, we scored another goal, by the way. Uh, Cholak puts his 2-1 up on the night. Cholak is having an awesome start to his Rangers career. Just like in real life. He's been pretty... He's been playing pretty well in real life. Not so much in... I was going to say not so much in the Champions League, though, but I don't think... Anybody in the Rangers team has played very well in the Champions League. Uh, and to be honest, neither does, none of the Scottish teams have done well in Europe at all this season. But Ben Yedder equalises on the night, so it's now four each in aggregate. With the way both teams are defending here, this could end up like 6-6. Six, six, six. But we have, surprisingly, we've had more possession. Like, we've had so many more fouls. I don't know if I really want to do to get stuck in. Because that will, that could cost us at the end of the season with the amount of bookings that we could get. Sakala's out in the wing. Plays it back to Jack. He'll probably, I thought he was going to shoot. Lundstrom shoots, but. It was wild. Going to encourage a team. Fashion Sakala was never getting that. He's too small for that. Hopefully we can... Oh, that was poor. That was... Oh. That would have been a very poor goal to give away. I've also noticed a lot in this year's game. Well, I should say better. Uh, there's a lot more four f- like a flat four four two uh, formations, which I kind of feel is a bit strange. I thought the four four two kind of went out of fashion about ten fifteen years ago. Tavani with a free kick. I was just about to say that's a bit ambitious and a bit far out, but he made the keeper pull off a good save. Kent with the corner now. Front post. Goldson couldn't get there. Kent's got the ball back, but he loses it. Right, getting into the last 20 minutes, let's demand a bit more because 
it's this rate is going to go extra time. I don't really want to get to extra time. I would like to get a fully fit team uh, past this game in Ross County. So we've got a fully fit team getting into the first old form of the season. Oh, that was poor defending from Davis. Ben Yedder's in, but McCrory pulls off a good save. I don't know if I like the whole FM23 chaoticness. It's too stressful for me. But I think the way this is going, this is going to end up in extra time, unless somebody's got a late goal. And if our track record goes by anything, it'll probably be Monaco that would have scored it. But we've got... Let's pump the fists. Keep working hard. Uh, I think we're actually going to need to make some subs. Davis is dead in his feet. Uh, Leon King can come on for him. Ryan Jack off for Kamara. And I think I'll leave it like that then now. Uh, no, let's pump the fists. Uh, I have faith in you. Let's encourage your team. I would love it not to go to penalties. The track record I've got in penalties is not good in this game. And I've got Morelos. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, in the last episode I was telling... Well, I was talking about... Uh, Morelos had th three penalties in the one game and missed every one of them. Uh, Tillman should have done a lot better there. He should have finished that chance. Uh, Kent with a corner. Near post again. King's there, but nobody gets to it. Lundstrom. Back to Kent, who shoots. That was... That was going wide. That was a poor shot. Uh, we managed to get that clear. Not very far right enough. Monaco's coming at us and Malang Sar puts them 3-2 up on the night. 5-4 in aggregate. We've not got much left to give. To be, I don't feel like we've got much left more to give. So I think we're just going to need to keep it going. I'm going to make a sub. I've only got one more sub to make and I think I'm going to bring on Charlie McCann for Lundstrom. Just to kind of G up the midfield a bit, get some legs in there. And I've done everything that I can. And I don't know if we're going to have enough time. I think we'll demand more one last time. Four minutes left of the game. Lawrence down the wing. Morelos is there, but the defender blocks it. And we're going to need a good delivery from this corner. And that was another near post corner that gets defended far too easily. And that was bad defending, and that's it. I think that's it done. I don't see us getting back into this game. There's less than two minutes to go. Where players are absolutely knackered. Kind of disappointing. I thought we would have beat them. Proud of the efforts. Just... Missed a, just too many chances that we missed. Rangers will not be in the Champions League this year, but we should be in the Europa League. I feel like you miss a lot of chances in this game, and you can't do that. Not when you've got a team like Celtic, who just don't drop points. Like, Celtic are a really strong team in this game. And our, we're very susceptible to letting in late goals, which... I don't think I've let in as many late goals as I have uh, in the past few days of playing this beta. 
but enough waffling. I'll be back in just a minute when we take on Celtic. Right, so we're back and we've got some business to take care of first before we get into the game. We'll just head to the transfer centre. We'll look at the outs. Just a couple of people that we didn't want run the club. Scott Wright's finally out of and loan, but the two in the ends that we've got is Jose Fuentes. Sorry if I butchered that name. He is a 23-year-old Ecuadorian. We got him from LAFC for 2.7 million. We've got him and <coughs> to just back up for that Mazzala role, basically. Uh, it did say he had a lot more potential and uh, current ability, but I'm still pretty happy with the guy that we brought in. He's an international, plays for Ecuador. Pretty happy with that. I'm pretty stunned that we managed to get Roberto Gagliardini for 850000 He's now worth 7.8 to 9.4. We've brought him in as backup to Ryan Jack, although he might end up taking over from Jack. Uh, he's a 28-year-old Italian international. He'll be playing at that defensive mid position. He probably won't be playing any further forward than that. I'm not going to lie, I'm really chuffed with that one. I think that's... It was only a few years ago they paid 18.2 uh, million for him. And it has played regularly for them until this season. And we've took him off their hands for less than a million. So... I'm pretty happy with that, so, oh, in fact, we might as well look at what happened in the game between. We beat Ross County 5 nothing, and the group stage for the Europa League have been drawn. We're in with Real San Sebastian, which is Real Sociedad, uh, Malmo, and FC Zurich. Pretty hopeful of our chances of getting through there. So let's finally get stuck into this old firm game. So we've got McCrory and goals, Tavernier goals and Davis Gilmaz at the back. Jack, Lundstrom, Tillman in the midfield, Kent, Sakala out in the wings and Cholak up front. Well, two new signings. I'm just going to call that guy Jose and Gagliardini are on the bench. So let's get stuck into this game. This is going to be a tough one. Uh, and the offline uh, playthrough that I'm playing in my spare time. Uh, Celtic play this 4-4-2, like a flat 4-4-2, and it's really hard to break down. Uh, they're a really good team, and they don't tend to drop a lot of points. Uh, I think in my personal playthrough, the only points they've really dropped is to myself so uh, that just shows you the strength of this team but we're winning a lot kind of stunned of how well we're actually playing because Tillman's just put his 2 nil up inside 3 minutes that's I did not expect this to happen But the, the games that I've seen at the old firm uh, in this game so far, they're usually quite high scoring, so it's usually dominated by one of them. So it's not like a 3-3 three -three or anything, it's usually like a 4-0 or a 3-0 uh, or even a 5-0 to one of them. But Tavernier's got a chance to put his 3-0 up inside five minutes and he easily does that. Tavernier sends Joe Hart the wrong way and Rangers are now 3-0 up inside 5 minutes and Ben Davis nearly puts his 4-0 up inside 10 Celtic with the chance McCrory made a good save, it's cleared Kent didn't really do anything there I was wondering why we were still sitting second there, but Celtic have got a game in hand on us. Oh, well, they've played one more game, they've not got a game in hand on us, we have a game in hand on them. We won that game in hand, we go top. Sakala never really done a good pass there. Chalak, Cholak will probably be offside. He is. 
Uh, I wasn't going to play Sakala, but he's been playing really well. He scored a hat trick in that game against Ross County, and he's he's just been playing really well. He's creating a lot of chances, which I'm liking. Kent's also getting a few assists, well, a couple of assists. Don't actually know how many he's actually got, but he's got a chance to get one here. Davis is in. Davis puts Rangers four 0 up inside twenty five minutes. We are doing to Celtic what Celtic have done to Rangers in the what the past year in real life. Celtic in real life and the old firm, like especially in the league anyway, like have just been phenomenal in the first half. They don't let Rangers get started really in their in their face, which is basically the way. In fact, it's not Joe Hart that singles. I thought it was Joe Hart, but he just passed that to Cholak, so obviously he's got a coupon on, and he's wanting Rangers to win. Cholak puts Rangers 5-0 up. Safe to say, I think the game's done. But yeah, I'm really surprised of how poor Celtic are right now. I was expecting a tough game. Then again, it's the beta stage, so I can actually see Celtic coming back and scoring six in the second half. And they have a penalty, Juranovic, up against Rory Mc Robbie McCrory. And he sends the keeper, he makes his penalty look just as easy as Tavernier made his. So it's 5-1 at half time. Absolute domination. Hopefully, I might see if I can get a couple of youngsters out. I might even see if we can, in fact, I might get a, the two new signings out. So, Guy Gladini for Ryan Jack and Ho Jose for Tillman. Uh, Leon King can come in for Conor Goldson's not having the best game and Charlie McCann for Lundstrom. I believe one more sub. This is either going to be a really good decision getting these players on or it's just completely buggered our game and Celtic are going to run riot. But the looks of it, pretty poor second half from both teams. Both teams, nothing really happening. Davis puts his 6-1 up. I don't know if it was 5 or 6. 6-1 uh, up on the day. And I think we're going to bring on Morelos. I know Cholak's on a hat trick, but I don't want him to get injured. Juranovic is now sent off for Celtic, so it's just total misery for Celtic in this game. Kent with the cross, Tavernier's there, Tavernier hits the post I think that was, or the side netting at least. But that is the game done, my wee manager, you can just see him behind there, seems delighted with himself. And I'm pretty over the moon with that performance, I did not expect that at all. Uh, also, uh, Ange Postacoglu, or... Uh, the old Celtic manager is not in charge anymore. I'll just quickly show you that. He left to go and manage Wolves. And this guy has come in, Marcelino, who it says here has been left, left Freeman after a hammering. And just some random bits of news. But I think that has been... One part of the episode was pretty disappointing. Second half of the episode, absolutely delightful for Rangers fans. Absolutely dismal for Celtic fans, but I am pretty happy with that. This is the way the league table finishes at the end of this episode. Two points behind Celtic with that game in hand. A major goal difference ahead of everyone. Our closest is Celtic and we're 11 ahead of them. 
Uh, obviously, we're knocked out there. We actually also got Celtic in the quarter final of the Premier Sports Cup, so we've got another old firm coming up soon. Probably not show you that. I don't want to show you the same games all the time. It gets pretty boring when you do that. So, next episode is going to be Hearts and Zurich. So, we'll get a good chunk of games here. To Well, five games to get through. We're just going to leave this episode here. And I will see you in the next episode where we take on Hearts and then Zurich in the Europa League. So if you like this video in any way, please leave a like on the video. If you would like to see more Football Manager 23 content on the channel, please subscribe, turn notifications on, and thank you very much for watching.